you insulted? She's skipping the speech? I'm insulted you asked the question. Oh, I spoke with Stacy this morning of a great relationship. We got our scheduling mixed up. I'm going to be, I've talked with her at length this morning. We're all on the same page and uh, everything's fine. President Biden insisting he and Stacey Abrams are still on the same team despite the nation's most prominent liberal voting rights activists' absence from his speech. Yeah, Joe Concha is joining us live on this uh, interesting turn of events. That must have been some scheduling conflict, Joe, that Stacey Abrams was up against. Yeah, Shimke, welcome back, by the way. We haven't seen each other for a while. I think even though we're 12 days in, we could say Happy New Year. So Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> I, I, I wrote about this in a column for, for The Hill yesterday. Uh, this is pretty easy. When the president and the vice president of the United States come to your state to push your signature issue, if you're Stacey Abrams, you clear your schedule. Of course, we never heard exactly what was on Ms. Abrams' schedule that forced her into hiding yesterday, save for a few meaningless tweets. And it shows you two things. One, how toxic the president is to Democrats right now in Georgia, a state that he actually won in 2020 very narrowly. Uh, Mr. Biden is now firmly underwater in polling. More voters disapprove of his performance there than approving. We're not even one year in. And two, it also shows you exactly how little confidence at this point Democrats have in Mr. Biden's ability to get this voting legislation over the finish line at this point. You could see now there is desperation within this White House because look at the priorities, right? Totally tone deaf. First, they focus on Build Back Better amid skyrocketing inflation and crime and the border being open and education going sideways, uh, all while saying, you know, with Build Back Better, it's going to, you know, add zero dollars to the deficit in while we're <laughs> the deficit, right, and the, the whole whispered thing. And, and, and that's dead right now, right? Then this year, they pivot to January 6th. Now the focus is on voting rights, an issue that is way down the ladder of priorities for the American people. And to Sean Duffy's point, if there is a massive number of people who want to vote but can't, I believe they would be all over TV or marching in the streets. Yep. Those people don't exist. It's the biggest non-issue of our time, Todd. Absolutely. From a whisper to a slam, here's Ted Cruz versus a podium. Watch. <laughs> Just once, I'd like to see a reporter say to Joe Biden when he stands at the damn podium in the White House without a mask, Mr. President, why aren't you wearing a mask? The questions are only directed at one side, and I got to say, the American people see the hypocrisy. I mean, it's such a good point by Ted Cruz right there. It is good to see the media called out for that hypocrisy. But, Joe, will anything ever change? Of course not. I, and I've always wondered about this as well, to, to Senator Cruz's point. Why does Jen Psaki, for example, wear a mask or doesn't wear a mask in the White House press briefings, right? And, and I don't know if you've ever been to the, to the James Brady briefing room. Uh, it used to be a place where they had an indoor uh, pool there. It's profoundly small, low ceilings. Everybody's on top of each other. Basically, it's perfect for COVID. And, and yet, reporters all have to wear masks, but the press secretary does not. And she got COVID despite being vaxxed and boosted a couple of weeks ago. So the same goes for the president, who will wear a mask nowhere within 500 feet of anybody on a beach alone in Delaware. But then if reporters <laughs> want to talk to him, he'll walk up to him, take off the mask, and then within two feet talk to him and then put the thing back on. Everybody's tired of this, obviously, at this point. And, yes, only one party appears to be being called out on it, guys. Yeah, and the reason he was all fired, Ted Cruz was all fired up yesterday is because he was making a speech or he was, you know, making a comment about ending the filibuster and a reporter asked him why he wasn't wearing a mask and then you saw him slamming the podium. Luckily, no podiums were hurt Stupid. in the making of this segment, Joe Concha. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this morning. You haven't lost your fastball, Shem. Good job. Uh <laughs> Love it. Oh, you Pyro's stop. influence, I guess. Keep going. You All right, we'll talk to you Bye. later, Joe. Have a good Aww. one.